Good morning, dear African. My name is Sama Laza Laza. So this time around, we take you to Namibia, where there's a tribe in Namibia called the Himba people. Himba people offer sex to strangers or rather to visitors, and a friend can also offer his wife to a friend who is a visitor for a night. And this tribe also bat without water. So uh, we take you to uh, Namibia where you watch the video. Ude Maya from Ghana when investigating. Watch the video. What we read was when you come in here, if you come to the Himba village, like as you just explained, a man can give the wife to a friend, my brother, okay, yo, take care of him mm -hmm. sexually. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. Full time? Yes. Full time? said the illiterates of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn or learn and relearn you know I, I, I just want to know what do you guys think of the Himba people um on my end I think they're I, I don't know much about the Himba people except what I was told because there's this stigma around them that they are feared you know, like because of the witchcraft or whatever voodoo they take part in. So um, you never really get a chance to interact with them. It was always like as kids, if you see them in the street and they ask for anything of yours, don't fight them, just give it. Or else when you go home, your family member is dead or stuff like that. So uh, we just fear them like that. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Let me understand. Who made you believe that uh, the Hindus go witchcraft and all of that? Our, our parents. It's stories most that you hear. Like it's stories you hear. So I mean, if your parent tells you like something about that, or like even not like directly your mother, but your neighbors or like your friend's mother told them that, then they'll come tell you like, "It's a no, my dear. Quickly cross. Uh, the Simba guy is coming." And you're like, "Why are you scared? No, my dear. This people are gonna like, you know." Like Juju, your family, and you know, so it's like just that we're like, oh, okay. I'm not here to blame them, neither their parents, but colonization made so many Africans hate their own, and I believe it's time to unlearn, relearn, and embrace our own. <laughs>